What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're going to be finally installing a modification, an addition, upgrade, something, whatever you want to call it, to the Black 6.7 Power Stroke. But first, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, drop your comments down below. What light bars are you running on your trucks? Okay, YouTube, so today we're here with our 2015 F250, and while I'd love to be doing a performance modification, that is going to be just on hold for a little bit longer. But today, guys, we have one of probably the most popular upgrades to do to trucks. Me, personally, I'm not like a huge diehard light bar fan, and today I'm going to show you one from Auxbeam. And on that note, we're going to throw this out there. They did provide this. They sent this out. So this video is sponsored by Auxbeam. Thank you to them. There will be a link to this product down in the description. Go check that out if you're in the market for a light bar for your 2015, well, I guess 2011 through 2016 F250. Okay, guys, here it is. We have a 20-inch light bar here. It comes with pretty much everything you need. The only parts for this install I have to go get, we're going to get terminals for these guys to plug into the other wire. However, the other wire does have terminals on it, so we just need to get some for this side. And the only other thing I got was a washer set. Now, depending on your application, you may need to upgrade, not upgrade, you may need to purchase a bracket of some sort. There's several different brackets for these trucks out here, but a lot of them mount onto the side of these, and there's, as you can tell, we have LEDs here too. So I wasn't sure how well that would work or if this screw here would be appropriate to mess with. So what I decided, they have their mounting set up here, which is these brackets on the side, and then they're adjustable. I didn't set up the one bracket here, but as you see, there's basically nuts in a groove. And you screw these on, and you put the bolt through here. So I will show you what all comes with the kit, and then I will tell you what I, I'll show you what I actually went out and purchased. So it comes with your wiring harness here. Now again, these are the pieces I told you already had terminals on. We just need to get some to push into them. And we're gonna find out, I don't know if that is a shrink wrap or if that's just a protective coating there. I'm not 100% sure. If not, I'll probably try to get some shrink wrap so I can shrink wrap these up. I'm not sure though, because the other concern is if I wanna move this, then I have to mess with this whole harness. It's a big harness. So we shouldn't have any issue getting this mounted exactly in the cab where we want it. Now there is a plan for this to go on a build of Josh's truck. So this is going to be a temporary thing for this truck right here. It has your fuse and a relay and everything. So very nice setup and this all has a protective coating on. So we should be good there. Now for those of you doing this on a budget, with this bumper on the truck, which we'll get down and show later, you don't actually need to purchase anything other than a big washer. It's an M8 by 1.25 bolt. Uh, this is not necessarily for that size, slightly bigger, but it works just fine for where we're gonna mount it on the bumper, but you won't need a bracket. Now, that said, I will have a link to these down in the description below through Amazon, an affiliate link here. And basically this is a three by three L bracket. So where we're actually gonna mount the light bar off of, if you wanted to, you could drill one of the holes pre-done in this out to a slightly larger size, and you could just push this back a little bit further if you wanted to recess the light bar a little bit. It's not bad, it doesn't like, not like it sticks out on this, but if you wanted to push it back a little further, you could. So link for that down in the description. As for this, it's like a one and a half inch wide washer. So you'll need that. So anyway, this universal light bar basically comes with all but everything you need to install this on your truck. So now if you have the front license plate, that won't work quite as well. We took it off and there's right here and here. So pretty much right dead center, you have two holes in the bumper already there. And that's what we're gonna hang this off of. So as you saw, we have the one, I have this kind of loose still but I'm gonna show you how to put one on just so you guys know, which is super simple. So the first thing you gotta do, you gotta find out exactly which way to set this. You can turn it around and gives you a few different mounting options here. But you take your bolt. So you take your bolt and bracket and put it in and the bolt is made to fit right in there perfectly. So as it's turning, it locks it in place or holds it in place so it's not turning as you're trying to tighten stuff up. The next thing you do is you line up the nut in there and you just tighten this down. 
So that is as complex as that is. So I'm gonna show you guys how to mount this up here. So we're taking our large washer and putting it up here. And we have a lock and our nut. All right, we're gonna leave that loose. We're gonna get the other one up there now. Okay, now that that's on, I'm just snugging up the top bolts here a little bit. Okay, so here it is, guys. It is bolted in there, at least. It's not completely hooked up. So what we're gonna do is it's starting to drizzle, which kind of stinks. This time of year is awful for making videos, but we're gonna go head down. We're gonna grab something to eat. We're gonna get some terminals here to pop on there. Just something to crimp on. Maybe if it has a heat wrap kind of stuff on it, we'll heat that up too. But that is basically how it mounts to the bumper. So this essentially needed a dollar fifty in washers or a dollar in washers, and that's it to take everything and hook up. Again, we're gonna go get the stuff to hook up that to plug the wires in. We're gonna run the wires. Should be super easy. Later tonight, we're gonna after it's all hooked up, guys. We're gonna get some night shots and we're gonna shine it down the street and see just how much of it we can light up. Well guys, Mother Nature is ruining our install for today, unfortunately. I don't want to be running wires and stuff and touching electrical things with in the rain. It just doesn't seem like a great idea. So anyway, just to recap here quickly, we do have the light bar on here. And it looks like I have this fairly well lined up. It's not exact, but I'm basically using these studs to kind of tell. And from up top, it looks, well, here we go. And from up top, it looks like it's pretty even as far as how much is coming out on each side. Definitely not perfect, guys, but it fits in there nicely. There are guys that take the tow hooks out and basically put one giant light bar in here, which I do think looks really cool, but I like my tow hooks. And if I want to help somebody out in the bad weather, we do get a lot of snow up here in Pennsylvania. I can help, you know, hook a tow rope on there and pull them out. And I do kind of like the functionality of these tow hooks. So they're going to stay on the truck here. However, I don't know how long the light bar is going to stay. We might be putting that on one of Josh's builds in the future once we get him back on the channel here. Just to give you guys something to look forward to, we are going to have lighting upgrades. We're going to get these ugly orange side markers off. We're going to get them changed out. We do have some cosmetic plans for this. The light bar, once I get that all hooked up, we're going to actually show this down the street here. As you can see, it goes down there pretty far. We're going to see if we can't light that all up really well with our aux beam light bar. Again, link down in the description. Thank, thank you to those guys for supplying this to the channel. Now, if you found this video and you're looking for a full install, I am going to put a link. Once it's ready, it'll be the first comment down below. I'm going to do a full install video. I'm releasing this one early just to get a video to you guys that want the update. So if you found this video after the fact, go down in the comments, click on that link once it's up. If it's not up there, it means I didn't finish the install video yet. But there will be a full install video, guys. Thank you for your support. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next upload.